everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie and I'm the blogger behind BrighterDarling.com. Today we're doing one of my favorite videos, a foundation wear test. So this is um, not a brand new foundation, but new to me. It is the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Complete Foundation. I don't know, it, there's so many words on this, but anyway, I'm sure you guys have seen this. It was reformulated. They used to have Superstay. People really liked it. Then they came out with this one. I don't really know exactly the story, but it's here. It's at all drugstores. I've seen it at Target, at Ulta, all sorts of places. A lot of people have been raving about this. Um, and I really wanted to give it a try because I love a full coverage foundation. I was just a little nervous because as you guys may have known if you've been watching my channel for a while, um, this foundation has been initially, I guess, marketed towards being best for really oily skin. And since my pregnancy, I've been more normal oily, a little more normal, sometimes even dry. So I was a little worried that this foundation wouldn't work for me. Also, I love and swear by my holy grail drugstore foundation is the L'Oreal True Match. Not the Lumi, but just the regular one. And um, I just was kind of nervous to try another drugstore foundation. You know how it can go, you can break out, like might be a total disaster and then you kind of just waste your money. And I don't know, like I feel like I'm much more apt to return a high-end foundation if I buy it and don't like it. Then again, I'm also much more apt to get a sample of a high-end foundation before I buy it and not feel guilty if it doesn't work. So with drugstore foundation, it's like you're buying it and then if it doesn't work out, you're stuck like either having to keep it, give it away, or return it if you're like good about doing that. But anyway, after hearing so many people that I follow and trust, they really said to give it a try. So I said, well, why not? In case you haven't seen any of my foundation reviews before, I do do them split face. So on this half of my face, I used a brush with primer. And on this half of my face, I did not use a primer and I used a sponge. So I like to kind of get the gamut of how it's working. So this foundation reminds me very, very much of my Holy Grail High End Formula Estee Lauder Double Wear. So much so, like I can't even, describe. I almost wanted to do a split face wear test between double wear and this. If you guys are interested in that, let me know. Let's get to the demo. All right, so I'm going to go in with this side with the primer and my buffing brush and then the side's going to be the sponge. So let's just go in with this Ren Perfect Canvas. You guys know I use this in all of my foundation wear tests. It doesn't irritate my sensitive skin and it just kind of gives a slightly more poreless and mattified um, look. While this dries, we'll go in with the other side. I'm going to put one pump. I think I used two pumps for my whole face with just a brush. So I'm just going to use the back end of this Morphe Beauty Blender kind of thing and start applying. When I did use this the first time with the sponge, I really liked it, which you guys, if you've watched my other foundation videos, um, I usually am not a sponge fan, but this foundation is pretty awesome. Sorry, this is not a first impression, but I think it's actually better that it's not a first impression. I'm not against first impressions, obviously. I've done them, but I think it's more helpful if you guys know I've used this for a while already. But like you saw, hopefully you saw how those marks were on my face when we first started and they're gone already. So yeah, that pretty much is it. It blends in so easily. No foundation with the Maybelline Super Stay. Okay, so now this side's dry. We're going to go on this side. Let me switch my clip. I usually have my little cat one, but I just didn't feel like using it right now. I'm going to go in with one more pump for the other side of my face and my Sigma F80, which you guys know has been my, if you read my blog, I guess, you know, it's been my Holy Grail brush. Like I find it doesn't leave any streaks. So here we go. The brush is of course a slightly faster, but like you guys saw with the sponge, um, this formula with the sponge is also really quick. I don't know why that is compared to other formulas, but 
I am very impressed with the sponge application with this foundation. Okay, so this is the first time I've actually used this foundation with this Ren Perfect Canvas Primer and it's actually not looking as nice as I had hoped. The Ren is kind of mattifying, well it is mattifying, so I'm thinking it's like too much. But it definitely doesn't blend out as quickly as the sponge side with no primer. Hmm. Who would have thought? But okay. Overall, we're blended in. So, there's your brush side. Here's your sponge side. And that's that. I'm just going to go in and finish the face. Alright. It is... You can't see that. 11, 12. So it has been 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 8 hours. I wish I could have done it longer, but we got a late start today. So I figured 8 hours was good enough. And don't mind this hair, I was watching Frozen. Because why not? But anyway, let's take a look at my face. As you guys can see, I think it looks pretty good. Um, I know it's only been the eight hours, but everything still pretty much looks intact. Like, you can still see my highlight, you can still see my blush, my bronzer. Obviously, this eye makeup, pretty legit, guys. Um, this is the Emily Noel palette, by the way, the Wants palette, this one. I did, like, a little talk-through tutorial and review on my blog of it. I'll link it below, but anyway, um, when it comes to the foundation... Let me get up close here and see. I'm gonna use a smaller mirror. This was my primer and brush side. I remember in the beginning I was saying I didn't actually love the way it went over the primer. It didn't really seem to matter once everything was on. Um, and, hmm. It actually appears it's so close. However, this might be the first and only foundation that I actually prefer applica that I actually prefer application with the sponge. Now, I am not 100% sure because I obviously am not like analyzing my face not using the primer, but because this is a like long wearing 24 hour wear matte foundation, um, I think it was maybe overdoing it with Perfect Canvas because Perfect Canvas can be a kind of more like mattifying primer. So these two together seem to not get along so well. Um, I will leave an update in the comments of this video. Tomorrow I will wear this again without using the Perfect Canvas primer and just using my brush to give you an update. When I'm looking at my nose area, which is always the area that breaks down, there's actually still foundation on my entire nose, which you guys have watched a lot of my foundation videos. That pretty much has never happened. I don't think in any of my um, foundation reviews. So the fact that it's still on my nose, even on the tip, is pretty crazy, both sides. Now I will say this side with the sponge, looks a little bit better but it's like you really have to like have the mirror like this <laughs> to see the difference um and the side with the sponge is pretty impeccably flawless yeah nothing has seemed to settle into fine lines and i barely put any powder on i mean i said this in the very beginning of the video i think and i'm gonna say it again this foundation might be my new best friend from the drugstore might even take over my double wear foundation as like a go-to because I do love double wear and I might have to do a split face wear test to like really see the difference. Um, but this reminds me so much of it. It's crazy. Like the finish of it to the coverage to the long wear. I don't know guys. Like if you've tried double wear and you've tried this, let me know if you feel the same. And the price of this is so much better and you get a pump. So I don't know. I do love Estee Lauder, you guys, but 
This is giving it a major run for its money, and I'm gonna go so far as to say this is definitely making my um, best of 2018 makeup products that I do in my blog every year. So yeah, if you have not tried this yet, I highly recommend this, especially if you're normal skin to oily, this is really good. If you're super dry, I don't know if you're gonna like it. Maybe just make sure you prep your skin really well with a good hydrating moisturizer. It's not like it's drying, but it is a matte formula, so you might you might not love that. But. Best of 2018 status and uh, new like drugstore favorite. Like I love my L'Oreal True Match for a more radiant, natural finish with light lighter coverage, but this is the best at the drugstore for a matte, long wearing, full coverage foundation. Go get you one. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I appreciate your support. Give it a thumbs up if you found it helpful and subscribe if you're new. I really appreciate it and yeah. Talk to you guys later.